Hello and welcome to this interesting demo where I'm going to talk about how Cyperf can be a Swiss knife for your enterprise performance testing. Let's get to the block diagram of how a modern enterprise with multi-cloud and on-prem infrastructure is set up. You would generally see a on-prem HQ that would have your existing resources, your laptops, your MacBooks, Wi-Fi, Ethernet. You will have your software-defined data centers. You would also have the cloud workloads, like some of your users uh, going to cloud for their own instance, instances and their day-to-day -day work. And the is, uh, branches and HQ, HQs will probably be connected between each other through the uh, classic SD-WAN or any other communications. But the communication to the cloud happens to this heart of this whole infrastructure, which is what some people call it inspections, uh, VPC, security VPC or VM networks, and all your communications between your on-prem infrastructure and all your remote cloud infrastructure generally happens through the rules and applications that apply to the VPC. Now, if you want to find out the infrastructure's performance, security efficacy and everything else, all you have to do is deploy test products, test tools to generate traffic between these locations. You can generate traffic from on-prem to on-prem, on-prem to cloud, on-prem to your software-defined data centers, or even to some internet so that you can properly test out performances, calibrate your application performances that, that is specific to your enterprise's personas, understand security attacks, how much of it is blocked and allowed, uh, strengthen your CI/CD rules, uh, get to know all their rules and everything. So I'm going to show you in this demo how all this is done using Cyperf. So I'm at the Cyperf screen now, and you can see I have this enterprise app. That's kind of what I showed you. This is the representation of the block infrastructure diagram. I have my applications. I have Windows with Ethernet. I have Mac on Wi-Fi. I have some Linux VMs as well. Uh, generating all this client traffic. And then I'm going to our on-prem infrastructures, you know, the data centers that we have uh, locally, and also going to cloud, the inspection VPCs and things like that to reach our cloud workloads. And all this is going to be happen today in this demo. But before I go into more details and run this test, why don't we go and find out some of the piecemeal um, structures? For example, what will happen if I send traffic just from my Windows client to my on-prem data center. That way I will know what's the max we can do in isolation and then we will do the much more detailed traffic generation. We would start with our Mac Wi-Fi to our servers. So this is my Mac client. It's actually connected to a real Mac and I'm going to generate traffic to my on-prem data center and I'm going to generate just web browsing traffic uh, with just 300 simulated users, not trying anything fancy, just trying to do what's the max performance we can get. Before starting the traffic, I can quickly show you my Mac. This is my Docker container with Cyperf running. You can just go to GitHub and deploy Docker literally anywhere. You can see that's connected to my Wi-Fi. <clears throat> so I'm actually going from Mac to Wi-Fi. And in the activity monitors, you see very minimal packets. It's basically the packets from my VNC. And now I start the test. So it's literally what's going to happen now is this all these HTTP gets would be pushed. And you can see that I have fast forwarded the tests and I'm getting close to 220, 230 megabits per second of application traffic from my Wi-Fi pushed through the Mac to the data center server that is sitting in, in my uh, premise as well. And this is kind of the practical max we can get. And you can see that's reflected in the activity monitors as well. Huge number of packets in and out, you know, 20,000. It was like hundreds or something before. And you can see that that data traffic be getting reflected. Similarly, I can also do it for Windows to see if Windows has any different experience. So just like Mac, I have this Windows uh, agent. So this is a container, a Docker container that I have. So let me show you how the Docker container is. Everything else still remains the same. So this is my Docker container of Windows. You can see that same client agent is running on the Docker. And this is my Ethernet stat manager right now. The test is not running. So I'm just getting around less than 100 kbps of traffic and the CPU is barely utilized. I again triggered the test quickly and you can see the shipping and policing in effect so individual devices in my network is getting around 200 and 225 mbps when we are just just sending http traffic and if i go back to my uh, remote desktop windows remote desktop you can see that traffic getting pumped right the 200 megabits of traffic now being reported here that is coming out of the ethernet uh, system and you can also see the cpu spiked up sending all those traffic so that was kind of a quick uh, overview of some of the topologies. Now let's go to the main topology. 
So first thing I explained to you was that you need to create a persona, your applications that would represent how, how your enterprise behaves. So Cypher provides you the flexibility to add those applications. You can also add attacks, right? So applications and attacks go hand in hand and I'm using this to simulate thousand users. And you can see I have my Windows client now. I have my Mac client now. So Mac is going through Wi-Fi, Windows is going through Ethernet. I have my some Linux VMs to put some power, right? So VMs who can generate a lot of traffic over Linux. And you can see in the uh, server side, the on-prem infrastructure that I talked about. So that also is a Linux VM, uh, is a sizable Linux VM that is going through there. And I have some AWS instances that are in cloud that would work as my servers that are loaded in cloud. Similar to the diagram that we showed you uh, earlier, right? And if I'm running these tests again, now you can see even when I'm running everything together through my network, Cypher still manages to get that 200 Mbps, 250 Mbps from individuals, even though we are running all these applications. And obviously you can see now more traffic, more data, and a much higher CPU utilization because of all the applications and uh, attacks being sent. And also you can see that reflected in my VMs. It's a teeny, it's a tiny VM actually. It has four cores and it's generating all this traffic. Now, if you go, go to the statistics, right, you will see the overall view of your network, right? This is where you have all your users all coming together, Mac, Windows, Linux, your web servers, your AWS, and how much you are getting, right? So you can see overall of my network is doing around 800 Mbps while traffic is moving in a north, south, and east, west fashion. It's not bad. And you can see how the application traffics are maintaining the proportions, right? You have your YouTube, UDP, Salesforce, web browsing, you know, whatever traffic that people would be using. You can even get down to the details of issues, right? Ultimately, a test tool is to find issues. So you can see how my latency for my Windows client is versus a Mac client versus my Linux, which is much faster than them. And you can look at the average latencies, average packets, all the applications. You can go into the bits and bytes of it. Like if there are TCP packets drop, are we uh, getting drops at a much earlier level than at the application side? You can do that. And similarly, you can also see the bits and bytes of it. Like, okay, well, how of how my each of my instances are doing, how much traffic I can send, how much traffic I, I, I get through. Similarly, you can also see if my any of my resources in the traffic generator itself is lacking. I see everything has some resources. You can also look at layer two, three statistics if somebody wants to go into the depths of it, or if you want to see the overlay of oh, how my applications are doing, where exactly and which transactions in these applications are failing, you can do that as well. Overall, this gives you a very clear picture of how your network is in terms of performance, application performance, security, and that helps you to make relevant decisions that are backed by data and you can understand how you have to, what rules you have to change or what devices you have to bring in to either alleviate your performance numbers or increase your security efficacy through actual traffic. Thanks a lot for listening.